Oh. Okay, y'all. Today, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't post last week. I wasn't feeling very well. Didn't have enough strength to do much. So, <coughs> you'll hear me cough, and I'm a little congested still, but I'm mostly better. So, today, I am working on baseboards. Woohoo! So, see. I put that up a while ago and now I'm finishing it. And then behind the desk, you'll be able to see. Okay, let's see if I can. Okay, you know what? Like it just, okay, yeah. So behind the desk, behind there, I'm gonna put a baseboard. And then over there, you already see kind of the baseboard there. I just have to nail it in place, finish over there, and then I'll do the pantry. There's cute little Ellie. Ellie, you wanna say hi? You tired? I know, look at all mama's mess back there. All mama's mess. We have the, I think in April, I'll be able to take the empty paint cans to the transfer station. Um, you okay, Ellie? Yeah, she tired. <laughs> so there's the baseboards. And guess what I, I went, Ellie and I went to the pet supply store over in Dedham because we wanted to go to the thrift store. And guess what I found, y'all? Awesome. Yes, I found this. This is going to go into the kitchen. I'm going to paint it. I'm not sure what color I'm going to paint it, but it has rollies on it and it has a clothes thing there. I'm thinking I'll put some, I don't know, stuff there. And then I love the idea that these... Uh, can flip up and flip down if I want to to um, so that's gonna go where the table is in the kitchen right now um, that table is gonna go into the sunroom so I can do some of my projects on it and um, then above the kitchen it's perfect size I know people say it's really low and I'm like that's fine it was probably an old TV stand I would imagine maybe not it has rollers on it I don't know maybe someone put those rollers on but um, possibly, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's perfect, um, perfect for what I want to use it in the kitchen. Just putting some, taking some of the stuff that's in the top drawer, the top cabinets and putting them in there, hiding them away. Um, might be able to put like my China there. I already have my China on the other side where the microwave is, but maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll figure out something else to put over there. Um, so I could take the stuff out of the cabinets and put it into something like this and into the pantry. Um, even though the pantry is big, it's, there's only three shelves there. So the pantry is big, but there's only three shelves. And so it's not a lot of shelving space. Um, I originally thought maybe I wanted to put this in the pantry to add more space, but I kind of like it maybe on the outside. I don't know. I still could do it. I don't know, right? Like the pantry, kitchen, and bathroom, and my closet are all kind of in cosmetic work. It's not really going to be major things because I'm definitely overhauling that space. I want to put, I'm going to wall off the kitchen and the bathroom and um, possibly the kitchen and the pantry. So wall that whole space off and then add another, if I can, flip this around, I wanna put like a, a door here, right? So you see the, the, the closet here, I'm gonna wall that off, put a door here, put a half bath kind of in that area, and then the other side behind it where the, I'll keep that doorway to the bathroom, that will be to the uh, primary bath. <laughs> primary bath, laundry, and then closets. So I think if I do that, it'll be, I think I like that layout, but I'll have to redo that whole kind of rectangle area in there. And it's, it'll be work, but <laughs> that'll probably come in a few years. So everything I do in the kitchen is really just cosmetic. Cause I first, you guys know what I have to do first, the foundation, buoy that up. That will be probably in 2025. Um, and then I need to go to the attic, sister beam, some of that stuff up, make sure the floor joists are okay and everything to hold what I want to do up there. Cause I think in the second floor, what I've decided is <clears throat> I don't want to add more space. I just want to make a bedroom with a three quarter bath up there, put the closets in 
to the, I don't know, the space that goes down like that, <laughs> you know, the A-frame, that space. So utilize the space more efficiently and then in front of the bathroom, a small little office space. Um, I think that would be perfect. I think I wanna make this, I wanna keep this house small. Two bedroom, two and a half bath sounds perfect to me with a little laundry and a sunroom. The utility room, still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with that. If I put the bedroom upstairs, maybe I remove the utility room, I don't know. But I'll definitely re be doing, redoing the kitchen. So when I put the wall back up, take those two doors out of the kitchen, um, I think that'll make it uh, so that I can change where the sink is and change how that looks and possibly, I'm not sure, I would love I would love to open that space up over there, and make a peninsula, but I'm not sure. I think this is a supporting beam up here, and I don't know if putting a door here to that half bath and then opening that up, if that's gonna compromise. This is just in my head, this is how I think about it. If it's gonna compromise the integrity of the support beam, if so, I might have to leave one of those, I might have to leave the pantry door there and make a half bath that way. Um, just because I want to make sure that we can do the things that I want to do, but I don't want to. I also don't want to. Um, uh, I also don't want to jeopardize the integrity of the the structure. So it's been working for how many years? Eighty four years. I don't want to mess it up. Eighty eight years. Nineteen thirty six to two twenty twenty four. You do the math, I think it's 86 years, no. Something with an eight, <laughs> right? Four, Cause four, cause four minus, yeah, that's eight. So it has to be 88 years, yeah, 88, okay. Yeah, cause 90 years would be, yeah, 2026. So yeah, okay. So something's been right with this for all that time. Um, so I don't really want to mess with the integrity of that. So I just want to make small little changes. I think this is a great as a cottage as it is. Um, and just going from a two bedroom, two and a half bath, having that upper place, having my um, sunroom is, I, I it'll increase the value. Um, you know, land is going to increase or not because I'm in a flood zone, who knows? But yeah, so that's what I'm doing today are the baseboards. I got a little bitty saw, a hacksaw. Got a little bitty hacksaw. Don't mind that little, that little towel is like been through everything. It's cleaned up pee pee. It's cleaned up poo poo. Cleaned up all sorts of things. It's just, it's. I got it when I first moved here, so it's like 12 years old. So, you know, it, it's just one of those towels that you keep around. It's just you just throw in the, in the washing machine and clean it up. So, but yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'm also gonna do finishing touches on the stairs. Um, I noticed there's just small little areas that like I missed like the paintbrush couldn't get into with the staining and the the painting So I'll do that and then oh the other thing I found y'all Y'all you're not gonna believe it. I have been wanting I'm so excited. I can't believe I didn't tell you I've been wanting um, a brass bed and Oh, yeah, Lee <laughs> I found one! Woohoo! Habitat, that was the other thing I found. Um, I have to keep it here because it's on rollers, which is perfect for me because I'll be able to easily move it up around. Because, you know me, if you don't know me, I'm the type of girl that like moves my furniture around every like quarter. It just, I need change. <laughs> so I still have it. It's beautiful and it's super heavy. So it's a full size bed, which is perfect, I think, for that room because that room isn't very big, which is fine. Um, I think perhaps when I finish, when the, when I finish the remodeling of the, the primary bath and bedroom and I mean bath and closet and, um, the pantry area, I could probably move that upstairs to the room upstairs and then put maybe a queen size bed down here into this primary bedroom. I don't even know if it's going to be the primary, maybe it is, whatever bedroom down here, um, because <coughs> that will be, 
when the closet's done in there, it'll be like a full walk-in closet. And uh, so I won't need like a dresser. I won't need any of that stuff. Um, and frankly, upstairs, I'm not gonna need a dresser either because I'm going to be putting the closet space up where the A-frame goes in that little section. So don't mind the mess behind me, y'all. I just kind of throw everything there and you see my toilet, I went through a whole roll of toilet paper this week. I, I was just like, watering my eyes were just like watering i think i had an eye cold um but like it was just crazy just it was crazy i haven't been sick like that in a very long time i was like well i guess it's about time so uh but yeah so i don't you know i'm not even gonna need a dresser so i might be able to put the dresser maybe here in the sunroom put it somewhere else we'll put it somewhere so we'll figure it out when we get there um but yeah it's just kind of slowly coming along this week, like I said, we're doing the baseboard. It's just a small project. I have someone coming over, looking at the garage door. Um, I already bought the door, so fingers crossed it fits. And then hopefully he can help me put it up. And then um, next week, I want to I want to do this and the dresser project. So I just need to figure out what color I want to paint this. If you guys have any thoughts or ideas, it's going in the kitchen. And remember, the kitchen, the kitchen is um, the cabinets are that terracotta orange color. I'm thinking maybe of making this like an aubergine brown, kind of like a, like a, a deep brown, possibly black, but I mean, black would be kind of cool, but maybe I don't go that dark. Maybe I just do the brown with, you know, the little undertone of red perhaps, or yellow. Make it a warm brown. I think a warm, a warm brown is better probably than a cooler brown. Because I think if I want to have the earthy tones, I think I need to keep it like a warm brown. That's just kind of how my gut goes. So yeah, otherwise, working on the little finishing touches of the stairs, like I said, I just missed some spots like underneath and like in between. And I was like, oh, that's just gonna bother me. So I got little bitty, itty bitty brush it's like an artist brush set. Um, I don't know if you could see this. Just got an artist brush set. That's how fine and detailed I have to get. So, and little Ellie's just, she's tired. She came with me all morning. We did all of our errands. <laughs> she's so, this one, she's so funny. But yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I gotta clean up my mess because I'm such a mess. Um, I take out all the garbage. I took out one already. I gotta clean up over there. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. Ellie and I went to the little park um, and she loved it. She, We hadn't been up there. It's actually, it's where the old Coast Guard kind of training center I think used to be. Um, they made it into a park and we went there and she had fun. So I'll show you guys some clips of that. But yeah, that's what I, I scored that at the Habitat for Humanity. I did ask them about, I think last time I told you guys, um, that I wanted to look at what was on top, like for my patio. And they said, oh, they're not putting those on sale until March. And I was like, oh. or till like the spring, which is middle of March. So I was like, you guys can't sell them before, <laughs> you know? And they're like, no. And I was like, man, that sucks. They're like, they're not in season. I'm like, exactly. All the more reason to get rid of them. <laughs> like I know exactly the ones I want so we'll have to see I hope that maybe I can find it and get it but we'll see um I do have to do grocery shopping so I can do my food prepping for the week and yeah it was just so bad this week it was really bad like, I just was in bed like all day it sucked and I was just like I just want to, I just want to work I just want to do something because I'm so tired of just being in bed and just sleeping <laughs> But it's what's my body needed, and that's fine. So, also, I found out this week that my little niece, she's not really little, you know, I just still see them as, like, little. Like, she's 23. Um, she was just diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma stage 2. I think it's Hodgkin's lymphoma. I don't think it's non-Hodgkin's. It could be non-Hodgkin's. I don't remember exactly. But I will put the link to her um, GoFundMe page. She has decent insurance, um, and she's going to be on FMLA, I think, with her work, which is good. Um, but still, there's always going to be costs and 
things associated with it. And I'm just like, you're too young to like spend your, all your money on medical stuff. Um, so hopefully, um, you know, if any of you, prayers are also welcome if you want to donate your prayers and your thoughts. Like, we totally understand and we welcome those. So if you keep her in your prayers and your thoughts, that's just as good as donating something or anything if you wanted to. Um, and her name is Isabel, Isabel Ramos. So they live in Utah, but yeah, it's just been, been really tough, but they are confident she's going to, the treatment's gonna be good for her. And you know, this will be something in the rear view mirror um, and we'll move on from there. So I think her treatment will be a few months long uh, with chemo and stuff. So yeah, there's just a lot, a lot happening. I mean, it's just, I think for a 23 year old, that's just, just tough just really tough so my heart goes out to her and my brother and his wife and their family and hopefully like I said if you guys um, hopefully if um, all goes well she'll be up and at him again in a you know few short months um, so yeah prayers and thoughts are welcome for sure Bye. be expected that's pepper I spilled I gotta clean that up I'll be cleaning this up shortly but yeah looks so it looks good it looks really good to be framed out like that and to cover kind of the bottom of it um, it looks really good I think it looks awesome so yeah so this is where that new thing is gonna go which I think will fit perfect um, so we'll see we'll see Y'all, we'll see. My, my hair is just blah. I had to pull it out of the way, but it was just like getting in the way. So now I got to go put the rest of them on. I did already the one in the bedroom and I'll do the ones over by the desk and then the one along this wall. And then I'll be done. And that's the project for today. Yay!
girl. She's got to go up a big hill. Come on, Ellie. You see where Mama is? It's a beautiful day. It's like 37 degrees. I'm still sick. <coughs> I needed to get out of the house. Ugh. Feels good today. It's beautiful skies. <laughs> Ellie, I'm right here. There I am. There I am. Good girl, mommy. Good girl. <laughs> okay, let's keep walking. I know. You haven't really been out the house much because mommy, mommy's been trapped inside. 